Hello friends. I have quite the story for you guys today, honestly. I mean, we all know that we're in this global pandemic, we're not supposed to be traveling, and we're not really supposed to be seeing anyone, you know, we're supposed to be responsible, stay in our little circles and not do anything. So someone please tell me why like a, I guess no longer famous rock star, singer, is begging me to go to the States. This is a story about just a single night in the summer and it lasted a whole whopping like 20 minutes, but it's kind of funny. So I thought you guys would enjoy it. Uh, so do you guys remember that band Hollywood Undead? They were those guys, wore the masks. Big on my space, got into them when I was in grade eight. So I would have been like 13. 13? I think it was 13. Might, might have even been grade 7, honestly. I don't remember, but, um... Do you guys remember Deuce? He also went by the producer when they first, uh, came out, and then he changed his name to Deuce. And then he had a bunch of solo stuff. You, you guys remember? No? Maybe not? Maybe? Back when I was a young little 14-year-old, and I was not overly internet savvy yet, um, that's a lie. I was probably way more savvy back then because I used to make like all my own MySpace layouts and now I can't even do anything in Photoshop. I was really into Hollywood Undead and my favorite member was the producer and I had no idea what he looked like, but he just had one of those voices that I was just like, he's probably cute, you know, and I will admit like I still really like his voice. I still think he has like a cute voice in like a lot of the songs. He's the clean vocalist and um but I never knew what he looked like or anything like I wasn't I didn't think back in the day Google Hollywood and dead without masks like so I never knew what he looked like and I was honestly only into them for maybe like a year or two and it was like on my space they hadn't even released like swan songs yet like this is we're throwing it way back right now. Like a few of their songs throughout the years you'd listen to as like a joke, you know, like Scene for Dummies or like Number Five or whatever. And they're still kind of bangers. Like I, you know, a drunk night, I'm not against it. Summer when I was in Manitoba, uh, my friend and I were looking for CDs for the car and at a thrift store for $1, we found Swan Songs, their first album. And we were like, oh my God, we need to, we need to get this. This is such a good throwback. Cause now we're 27. It's been like 13, 14 years, whatever. I don't, I'm not sure exactly when that album came out. But anyways, so we bought it and we were jamming so hard. And I like, not going to lie. I like completely re-fell in love with the album. And to this day, which is like only a few months later, I still bump it pretty hard uh, everywhere I go. As always know the Charlie scene has got a weenie that he loves to show and so I then got curious because I was like well obviously like Deuce is not in the band anymore I think he only did like the one album with them and I was like yo he still has the cutie voice like what he looked like well Deuce was the cutie that I found on Google but alas he is pushing 40 now and not gonna hate on the guy. And I'm not gonna post a picture of what he looks like now. Like if, if you wanna know, you can just look it up because I wanna try and like keep his stuff as private as I can. So he's not the young like mid 20 year old that he used to be, which is fine. Like it's gonna, it happens to all of us, you know? But um, apparently he like released some solo music. So like I listen to that a bit now, but not a lot. So anyways, so like as I'm doing all my searchings, I actually found like his personal Facebook and me being creepy, we had like two or three mutual friends. So I was like, well, f it, I'm just going to add him. And he accepted me. He liked a few of my pictures. And I was just like, oh, cool. Big daddy deuce. And so um, I, I had no, I wasn't going to do anything about it. I was just like, whatever. I guess I just have him on Facebook now. Like, that's cool. Until one drunken night on tequila drunken night in the summer I'm at Kohl's and we're drinking tequila so we're getting a little silly and I happened to bring up the fact that I have do some Facebook because of course I force everyone to listen to everywhere I go with me 
I'm pretty sure all my friends have heard it at this point. Sorry guys, but never gonna change. And I was like, oh yeah, I have him on Facebook. Why don't we try messaging him and like see what happens? So we just messaged him like, hey, how's it going? With a little kissy face. And he says, good you. And I said, pretty good. Just having a drink with my friend. What are you up to? And he goes, how tall are you? Do you have boobs? And deletes me. So I read at him because I'm like, what the heck? And he accepts me like instantly. So I reply, I'm 5'7", and yes, I do. Ha ha, why did you delete me? And he goes, oh, damn, you're as tall as me. Let me see your tits. At this point, the conversation has lasted a whopping 14 minutes. And his fourth message is, let me see your tits. So us being drunk say, let me see your dick. He just goes, let me see your boobs. How big are they? Let me see your cha-cha. <laughs> I'm 5'7 also. So then, or like whatever. So we kind of sent like a cleavage picture where we just kind of like them up but it wasn't like my actual boobs or anything just to be like whatever <laughs> like we're drunk on tequila we're two single girls we think this is funny so he goes oh damn those are legit got to roll down to portland we should hang we can try it out if you want <laughs> try what out deuce I've been talking to you for a whopping 22 minutes. <laughs> what are we trying out? <laughs> what I What are we trying out? I don't understand. So I said, borders are closed right now. It's your turn to send a picture. Cause we we're like, why, why not? Why don't we see? And he goes, just come down and hang. We're in a global pandemic. Like, I, I, nobody can go anywhere. <laughs> so I said, I want to, but the borders are closed. And again, I asked like, why'd you delete me? And so he sends me a, a picture of him and I, I'll post it, but with like his face covered. But it's like, this conversation is happening in July and he sends me a picture of him with like Christmas eggs. <laughs> what is going on so we just say because at this point i was like giving my phone to my friend i was like yo i don't know what to say or do i'm not good at this so we just say is it christmas in july and he goes ha ha yeah ha ha, ha yeah it is you should come down let's try hanging and i'm just like Babe, I'd love you, but the borders are truly closed and you aren't answering my questions or sending anything back. Cause I'm just like, what is happening? This guy is literally just like constantly like, come hang, come hang. Let's try this, come hang. And I'm just like, deuce. I am full of a lot of bad ideas, but me coming down to Portland during a global pandemic to meet someone I've been talking to online for about 25 minutes, is not one of them. And so he says, okay, I'm super sorry. And I just didn't reply, which is fine. So then that was in July and I was just like, okay, this is just gonna be my one weird story that I have with Deuce, you know, whatever. So on Halloween, I'm with my friends and I told them the story, showed them the conversation and they're like, well, let's try messaging him again. I was like, Here's my phone, like, whatever. So my friend messages him saying, hey babe. And he goes, what are you up to? And my friend goes, 
Christmas in July, babe. You? And instantly just nice. So how tall are you? It, it would take two seconds to just scroll up and read like, okay. So I say, I'm 5'7", what about you? And he deletes me again. Like it's literally just the repetitive of what happened before. And, but then I tried to re-add him and he's not accepting friend requests. And now my messages won't go through, so I guess I'm never talking to Deuce again. But it's whatever, honestly, like, Am I in the wrong for like trying to message this guy? Yeah, maybe, but like, I wasn't, you know, trying to cause any harm. I was just like, oh, I have him on Facebook. You know, I definitely didn't think he was just gonna ask for my tits right out after like literally two messages. So, yeah. Oh, well, could have been, now I have no chance. How am I ever gonna get to Portland? He was so down and then I just wasn't, this wasn't good enough. I wouldn't go to Portland in a pandemic. You try to do something nice, but no. So anyways, that is the tale of my one interesting conversation with Deuce from Hollywood Undead. And now it's just weird because it's like my entire life. I was just like, well, not my entire life, but like since I was like 14, I was like, had like, crush on this guy <laughs> who know who knew that like at 27 he would just want me for my boobs not cool man i have more than just a pair of boobs you know maybe he was he didn't like the fact that i was as tall as him i'm fine with that i can wear flats i don't have to wear heels but i guess we'll never know now so that is just that is my tale of deuce. Okay, bye. <laughs>